Spring Chicken. Okay. Yep. Hello, this is not a Spring Chicken. The big news today. Well, as you know, we are underway. It's the London Olympics 2012, and well, let's just say security is really pretty tight. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. It's a big, big event, folks. My, 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 my salute to the London Olympic Games. <laughs> I wish my family were not able to attend the opening because the security didn't allow it. So if you saw empty seats at the opening of the game, it's because security prevented people from coming in from outside of London itself that had most of the tickets. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm just sitting there thinking if you're going into London, how far in advance did you have to start going? Oh my gosh. Uh, I was told that... Like three to five yeah, hours? I was told that, that they were being, they weren't being, they said they were not being facetious. I was told by a family member. Well, they said, well, if you started out yesterday for the, for the day's event, you might have been able to get there. Oh my God. Well, no, you got to have... Uh, they're, they're ID happy in London to begin with. If you think the Royal Wedding was a disaster to get into, try to come from one of the outside areas of England into, and they're basically, they're going to sue the heck out of the Olympic Games for not being able to get in. Ooh. So Romney was right about the security, folks. What did he say about security? Well, he said that you have a problem with security and it should have been taken care of before now. There's 6,000 security guards short of what they were supposed oh, to have. Oh, they are? So 6,000 short, and you have to go through 5.5 million people? It's not going to happen. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. And the Queen's controversy over the opening of the Olympics. <laughs> she, she got bored. <laughs> no, I'd have been bored too. Well, wait a minute. What happened? I thought the controversy was because... She was supposedly helicoptering in during the opening ceremony, drawing people away from watching the opening ceremony. No, they knew it, 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 it was, they knew it was phony because she took off in the daylight, and it was an evening event. It was, it was an evening event, so they, they also know they actually almost never saw. Okay, uh, I put it this way: if I was if I was there, while it is not considered completely proper. When you have a woman that is in her 80 years of 80 years of age, you put your arm out for her to put your hand on you, mm -hmm. <coughs> and you walk alongside the Queen of England very properly with her hand on yours mm -hmm. for support. <coughs> that didn't happen, which meant when you saw, here's the Queen of England here, here's my, Daniel Craig here. He would not the same picture with her, folks. Oh. They just took a picture of her sitting at a thing. And then filmed Cram setting in a place in a probably there where she wasn't there because they read it out. And then her walking down the hallway, then they put him behind her walking behind her. Oh, I thought they would say, Well, she's the queen and so you don't know. No, touch because it is it is very it is very polite for the gentleman to put his hand out for the Queen of England and for her to put his hand properly in his and they walk along slowly together. Because she's eighty some years old. Yeah. And if it was, okay, if it was, uh, if it was, uh, if she'd have been 20 years younger, no. But in her 80s, I always used to see her mother constantly with young guys, you know, uh, walking along with her. Because it's a support thing. It's the same thing. Older, older country heads of state and things do that. I mean, uh, everybody knows that Franklin Roosevelt couldn't walk well because of his polio. But he would have he would have the support. He would walk along with somebody, you know, with their arm around him, like he was talking, and they were actually his crutch. Mm -hmm. So fact, he was not in the same scene with her. That's how that was done. Oh, and it's all over for the Republicans. Actually, the New York Times says it really is over. You know that media bias that the people on the right keep saying exists. New York Times blew the lid off the fact that the Obama administration sends them the press material they're supposed to write on. And then uh, the material is sent back to them before it's published, and they take anything negative out of the material. Mm. They said, but they said Mitt Romney though does the same thing. Well, not exactly. It only happens when it deals with his family, mm. and he will not let you attack his family. So you you want it. So they basically it, what it works is if you attack his family, they go this with it. That oh, really? is their editorial thing. So, so there is a difference. The press release, the President of the United States has walked on water last night and fed the masses. That's, that's written by the Obama administration. The, the, you know, Mitt Romney was a horse's ass and caused a controversy in England. That's basically the press.
And man accused of making criminal threats at screening of The Dark Knight Rises in Norwalk. Friends say it was a joke. It doesn't make any difference anymore. They're going completely loony. I can remember, because uh, my, my father knew Bob Hope. And because my father, my father predated Bob Hope, and uh, my father, and Bob Hope actually told him he was setting, he was having dinner, and there were like Charlton Heston, Bob Hope, and Tony Curtis all sitting around, talking at a, at basically my father was a big will in the American Legion too, folks. So they're at the, they're at a fun, the thing for the American Legion because they're all soldiers except for Hope, and um, and Bob Hope was saying, you know, I got in trouble with the with the government. The, we're flying here, and they said, well, why? He said, well, I'm, I'm, I'm standing in line to go to the restaurant. Yes, even Bob Hope has to stand in line to go to the toilet. You know, and I'm talking about, you know, you know I, uh, I really stuck up last night on my television show on, you know, on this routine, and the guy said, yeah, you stuck. He said, yeah. Bob Hope, like he said, one of the biggest bombs I've ever, I've done for years. And guess what happened? He was reported as threatening a bomb on the airplane. And all he was doing was talking about terms in the industry about when you really oh. go bad. And it said even Bob Hope got hit by it. Well, you know, part of it is now they say that things are a bomb. You, it sounds like it should be bad. It's like things are hot or cool. And actually, when they're saying it's a bomb, it's actually really cool. Yeah, but you can't say, I'm targeting this business for investment. Because they'll take the targeting out and basically look at negative. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you cannot, political correctness. They, they have no sense of humor. No sense of humor anymore. And the U.S. committed to AIDS free generation, Clinton. It's not going to happen because as I understand that, that HIV has been around since the days of the pharaohs, folks. Mm -hmm. And here's a funny one. How do you think, who do you think they trace the AIDS virus back to? Who? A person from Egypt that worked on the tombs that came in through uh, Latin America into this country. Oh. They think that a person from the t a person that opened the tomb may have picked up a dormant virus and that's what's spreading across the universe. Oh. In other words, don't mess with the people on tombs. That's right. <laughs> the, the curses are for real. Um, cancer causing toxin found in Chinese baby formula. Well, I have cancer causing toxin I have here. Oh, here's one. There's cancer-causing cartagens in this water. Everything you eat and drink will kill you. Yeah, even things simple as milk. Yeah, because you can't. There's something in everything that's bad for you. Or it's what it was cooked in. Or what it was cooked in. It could be the it could be the pot it was cooked in. In California, Governor reveals an ambitious water plan. Oh God, yeah. I mean, this man. He got turned down. Th well, the last time he was governor, century a century ago. He was in another century when he was governor, folks, for real. You know, and he proposed a new water, a new uh, a new agro agronomic water system. It's only gonna it only is estimated to cost twenty four billion dollars. But in the long run, we will have a green water system. Uh, and he's also proposing a, 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 a fast train to nowhere at fourteen billion dollars, and a train from from. Victor built in Las Vegas at thirty-six billion dollars, and the state can't pay its bills. But he is, you know, Jerry Brown is doing like all Democrats. Jerry Brown is preparing to spend sixty billion dollars over the next few years. And Michael Jackson's mother denies kidnap and family power struggle. But yeah, they all know she was taken by the. Okay, the children are wanting. Okay, she has no control. There is a court executor that decides the money. She was disappointed to take care of the children, so basically. They, uh, their aunts and uncles are giving the children fits, and my grandma didn't like it, so they basically took grandma on a vacation. What it resulted in was another family member that the children don't get along with being put as co-handler uh, of the kids now, and he really does not. He's not in the business.